We're here at the Stems 3 site um, near Grey Lake, Cam close to Campbell River. And we're in the control site at the moment and we're going to be taking some samples to look at soil fauna. Um, and the first sample we're going to be taking is to look at the soil macrofauna. And these are the real uh, movers and shakers in the soil ecosystem. They're responsible for breaking up uh, litter material, redistributing it. Um, some of them are also predators on the smaller uh, meso and microfauna and the microorganisms. So we're looking for things like the giant Enchytrade worms, which are native to Vancouver Island. We don't naturally um, have any worm species here on the island, apart from those that have been introduced. Um, we also have millipedes, centipedes, spiders, ants, various beetles, larval forms of insects. So in order to look at the macrofauna, we have to take um, a large soil block and then that's taken back to the lab for hand sorting. So I'm going to demonstrate how we take that soil block now. We use a knife, a Japanese sampling knife, to take um, a square of soil. And what we're taking is the whole of the organic layers of soil down to three centimetres into the mineral soil. The organic layer of soil is really, really important for soil fauna. It's where you find 95% of the um, soil animals. So in terms of when we're looking at um, forest harvesting, it's very important not to remove or damage the forest floor layer. So what we do is to take a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter block of soil down to the top three centimetres of mineral soil. And we'll be placing this directly into this Tupperware box. And this, when we get it back to the lab, will be sorted by hand. One of the advantages um, of looking at soil fauna instead of soil microorganisms is that you can identify them um, by morphology. Okay. Okay, so we have our soil block and you can see there's mineral soil so we've got the whole of the organic layer and we'll take this back to the lab now for hand sorting and because we know the area of soil we took we can do a bulk density and work out the numbers of these animals per square metre of soil. <laughs> 